I can't believe it's been a year already since we took that trip to the Poconos. It feels just like yesterday we were all recovering from my 30th birthday, packing up the cars, trying to be organized, and on our way to Lake Harmony. As we drive to the mountains, the trees become taller, the air became fresher, but I couldn't help but look out the car window. I'm excited, but nervous. How are we gonna pull this off again? How are we gonna make this project? Am I gonna be able to tell these stories right? Are you watching this gonna feel the moments we felt and expressed that week? <laughs> of course, cause that's all we know how to do. Have fun, drink, make memories, take in the moments as we get lost. It's hard to take in moments like a birthday when life as an adult hits me and the ones around me so much these days. This birthday was different. It's a milestone, 30 years, 30 years of unconditional love and support from my parents and countless years of love from the ones around me who were once strangers, but now family. From day ones like Dan, Matt, to Stacy, Ray, and more people you'll see, it's not about the quantity of knowing someone, but the quality of time and love they give you. My birthday was filled with laughter, shots, and making memories with people who were there back then till today. And I can't help but take a moment to realize even at the times when you're so alone, it's nights like these that make you remember that you're not, you're not alone. Now look, before we get started, let me, let me just introduce the guys and girls that were here for the whole trip. But you got Dan, Matt, Stacy, Danny, Johnny, Ray, Duvac, Gabe, Mike, Jean, and Milan. Yo, what? still worries will i find the panga i'm still corey what they talking to me nothing in the morning for me will i find the panga i'm still corey these days nothing else that you can do for me what's the pictures name said lockdown what what's the lockdown what's the picture that played for that died no right holiday yes and they called him doc right doc, yeah. doc holiday right so I'm not perfect, like I'm, I'm not Doc Holliday. I'm still Corey. These days, I don't know the things you do for me. Had to get away. Thought that I would find my way. Yeah, it's true, my B-Day now was really like a holiday. Locked down, now they call me Drew Holiday. No, I ain't perfect. No, my name's not Doc Holliday. Like a mm. holiday. Lock it down now, like I'm Drew Holiday. Life ain't perfect, but they call me Doc Holiday. I got flaws, I got pain, I got passion. Want it all, we ain't the same, they call it an action. I am lost, did I change or make it happen? It's your call, do your thing, but I'm the captain. Right now, we're working on the second song so far for the new project. We're up here in Lake Harmony in the mountains. Uh, this is the first full day here. Uh, these are these Duvac beats we're working on. Matt worked on a beat last night. Um, yeah, we're back, back in full effect making music and just, you know, having fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, already two songs in like two hours, so I'm gonna see if we can keep this momentum going for a little bit and take a break in a little bit, but we'll see. It's crazy. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. 30 years old, working on this new album, man. It's a dream come true. No! <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I think I want Stacy to sing on this. I think Stacy would sound really good singing on this. On the hook or? Yeah, on the chorus, yeah. We was young, having fun, getting lost, sneaking out, doing what we want, never getting caught. Drive around, windows down to the mall, here, kiss me through the phone every time that you call. Yeah, you wanna hear this verse? Yeah. Not gonna lie, man. I'm never 
four games getting better. Yeah. You the one and I hope that you know that. See my heart like a key, maybe you can hold that. Kodak part, you fuck with that? Rolling in peace, that's a moment one? for a Kodak. No, that's my second one. Oh, I already did the intro. <laughs> I already did the intro. You fuck with that? So play it again. I want to hear it again. I mean, I don't know. It's going to sound different when I, but I just did no, yeah, what yeah, I yeah, wrote yeah. though. Just a... Get it old. Uh. Get it old and know your heart's getting colder. And these riders with the girls and you never leave it sober. Sunday's from the most us. Not young forever is what they told us. Baby, this song is something that could hold. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I'm kind of in a groove. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be in a it groove. Up. I didn't know I was going to be in this groove like right away, man. I'm going to be honest. I like it, though. I've been doing, we we have been doing this dream since we were 17, 18. Um, I, I was motivated when we were younger because it was, we weren't doing the normal thing that everybody else was doing, going. You know, going to school, coming home, starting a family, like, which is no knock to that. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But what we, I think what me and you both agreed on at such a young age was like, we don't want to be the normal. And that motivated me, you know, and I think what keeps me motivated now is the fact that I feel like this is so much more fun than I thought it would ever be. And like last night, me and you were even saying like, who would have thought two guys from a small town in Roebling would be just traveling and recording music and filming documentaries? Like, who would have thought that 10 years ago when we were, you know, just getting out of school and trying to still figure out who we are? Like, look what we're doing now, man. Like, I feel like we kind of took our um, opportunity into our own hands and we're kind of making it our own thing. Like, last year we didn't have a clothing line. This year we do what's going to be the thing next year that we have. You know what I mean? Like, things keep continuing to evolve, and I think that motivates me. I think it motivates me that the people that are around us now are like-minded, just as creative, and we all have the same common goal of wanting not just us for fame or nothing like that, but we want generational wealth. We want to take care of our kids' kids, like, there's a lot more grown-up crap that we're uh, thinking about now more than we were maybe even a year ago. You know what I mean? We're thinking more about not just ourselves, but the people around us more. And that's, like, the big thing. Like, I feel like now I'm more responsible and I'm more held accountable for my actions for things because of the people around us. And I feel like the people around me keep me accountable and keep me at a higher expectation of who I need to be. And I think that's what makes me more motivated, too. I got to stick at that that bar that's been raised constantly, you know what I mean? It was written, you should listen. Stay a hundred like a Yankee when he pitching. Working nine to five, my life is pretty different. Let me paint just a taste right now. How we living is a party. On the weekend, heard your heart list. Like the weekend, getting started. You ain't leaving. Come on, shots, what you got? And you can't fight the feeling. You a city girl trying to find your own way. In the big world, only thing to play safe. That ain't right, do your thing, do your thing. And they say that girls only want money in a ring. Hear the church bells ring and the hurt girls sing Broken promises and wine, only thing that I bring Hit this toxic, crown me the king Play the hook, let me turn step, let me do my thing Oh, what'd you think? I'm really happy to make it Yo, y'all wanna hear this real quick? What's up, man? This is my last one and then we're going on a break How you doing? I hope Right now, I'll be living this a party on the weekend, heard your heart list, let the weekend getting started, you ain't leaving. I was thinking when it goes, it's a party. I think we should have everyone do like a choir, like, it's a party. Oh, I'm screaming. Okay. <laughs> Y'all want to do that right now? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm right now, dog. Okay, I guess not. All right, well, why don't you have your assistant call my assistant? We'll wow. Wow. You. No, 
Eat yeah. just a taste right now. How we living? It's a party! Hey, weekend. Put your heart. Oh, we gotta keep that one. Gene, Gene just. Did you get that on camera? Gene, get over Did you get that? That was funny as shit. What do you do? He's walking by, he goes, It's a party! He <laughs> just popped out of nowhere. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. You need to leave. <laughs> Pretty different than me, pain. Just a taste right now. How we living? It's a party! Yeah, man, I was not expecting to like rap like that, bro. Oh. Who do you think? Uh, who do you think made you wanna? Who's giving you more? What inspires you to? Yeah, what inspires you to rap, man? It's the beats, bro. The yeah. Beats are just good, yeah. The vibe is just like, yeah. The, the beats and just like I haven't wrote I haven't wrote anything in like a month. Yeah. So like. I don't know, I got a lot I gotta get off my chest, I guess. So the camera, before we got really interrupted, <laughs> he wants credit because him and everyone else helped plan a great birthday party for me. When you see this, it's gonna be long after my birthday, but that was it was inspiring, bro. Just be around so many people and be loved like that and have people show love like that. Like, not that you guys know and like people don't, but like seeing it and like, I don't know, I'm weird at receiving love as a, you know, as somebody who like constantly gives and gives and gives. And like, it's just, I'm not used to that. So like receiving that this whole weekend and like even when we got up here, you guys did all that nice stuff for me upstairs. Like, I don't know, it's great. I'm grateful, but it's just, I'm not used to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's go, let's go fucking smoke and just do something. <clears throat> I need a break. Uh, we do appreciate Stacy, Sam and Danny. You're gonna see this one day. You know, and I speak for everyone, we appreciate you guys grocery shopping. You were gone for like six hours, but we appreciate it. Oh, they pulled a meme when I say I'm here, but I'm really like a minute, like two, three minutes away. He said about five minutes out before. Wait. Hi. Thank you for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, look at that. Saying thank you, because I was getting ready to cuss somebody out there was going to say some bullshit. I was like, you better not come and say no bullshit to me. Like, damn, what took so long? And there it is. Safe, are you okay? I was dead ass. We are fine. We are fine. Bro, we saw the whole Batman movie. The Batman, the three hour well, movie. Because okay? look, yeah, first of all, the fact is, yeah, we went to fucking BJ's and we had mad shit in a cart. And there was a lot of people at the BJ's and then like with the whole pricing and everything, we had to wait for everybody to send the money first before we paid for anything. Yeah, so we couldn't pay for anything until everybody sent the money. Everyone did their thing timely. Okay, we just want to make sure like you guys are gone for a while. Yeah, no, but then like nothing's really, like, but nothing's really close together either. No, listen, uh, so Dan and Matt, so listen, Dan and Matt, want to cook hey, instead of you guys cooking. You they want to cook tonight? That's fine. Yeah, so you yo, chill. They want you to chill. Okay. 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 Hurry up, Mike. You need to leave! Can I put them on to Cafe Bustella? This is the best coffee. Don't drink any other coffee but this one. Oh, shit. Facts. Only good shit around here. My head, it's like black and white. You got a gold chain on. You wearing just the beater. You got the beater on. You look like Uncle Vinny in a track. So you better get in your Uncle Vinny vibes on this one. You feel me? You feel me? I'm selfish now, it's time to let them know. Can you fuck with them? It's different, right? What vibes? Because, like, you, the way you make music is you kind of feel like the vibe of everything and you make the music that way. So, sure. how's the vibes different from doing a winter album in, like, a cold weather versus doing a summer album? I think the I think the the tricky part is making an album in the winter that's going to end up coming out during the summer. How do you make those vibes still kind of relate? And that has nothing to do with me, to be honest with you. That has all to do with production from Matt and Duvek. Um, definitely for Vinny. And 
like this isn't the song this particular project right mm -hmm. but like all the different elements are all here like the guitar and the piano and then the drums are all done here mm -hmm. you know when Vinny first got me around the whole Pro Tools program which is the recording software he uses for his songs I had no idea what I was doing I've never nest with that program a day in my life and you know when I first tried it I'm like wow I don't know what I could do here now it's like fast forward four years it's like wow it's crazy how much I've learned in four years and it's awesome you know and I'm still learning um it's you know Rome wasn't built in a day you know so it's like this whole process is it didn't happen overnight and it wasn't expected to happen overnight and but the span of time it has happened and it's pretty remarkable for some people you know some people would probably be like wow you know the amount of knowledge and capability you have took me 10 plus years but you only did that in four you know and not to like toot yeah, my own horn or anything but tell you what man i know it's just me and you right now burns but for some other reason when mads beats bro it's just like i feel more vulnerable when he uh I don't know if it's the chords he does. I don't know what it is, but I just... I just this shit is relatable as fuck. Like, <clears throat> ah, ah. How many strangers that turned into family? Got family that turned into strangers Many people now ask me for favors Promise if we do it, then we gonna do it major If we fail, then we gonna learn later Tricks are right now, here with no chaser Been dreaming too long just to lose it to a pretty face And when she shakes her money maker I like that Who are you I like it That's deep, bro I met strangers turned into family Got family that turned into strangers mm. It sounds way different like once you finally put it all together. Yeah, I just I feel like I'm definitely losing my voice though. I can feel it. So like one like if you notice, so like it stay it stay on my bed. So it stays low, right? So yeah. we're gonna My tone stays low, so it's like How many strangers who turned in the family? Got family who turned in the strangers. Many people now ask me for favors. Promise if we do it then we gonna do it major. Right, right. If we fail then we gonna learn later. Drinks are rock now, here with no chaser Been dreaming for a long time Just to lose it to a pretty face And shake a money maker So like, that part where If we fail, then we gonna learn later yeah. That part is like the stress of like the whole Like I try to make, when I write a verse I try to make it where There's one part that you'll like That'll like be an earworm to you And I feel like that part Like if we fail, then we gonna learn later Later like that higher pitch is like mad different from the whole fucking thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that that's just gonna make it like, then if I add the bit, like I'll try, it's not gonna sound like what it's gonna really sound like, but you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. Watch. Many people now ask me for favors. Promise if we do it, then we gonna do it major. If we fail, then we gonna learn later. Drinks are right now, here with no chaser. Been dreaming for a long time just to lose it to a pretty face and shake a money maker. So like, I don't know, it, it's something that like I do when I record it. I wanna I wanna find one thing in a song that makes you like remember part of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whether it's the bar, whether it's the lyric, or even just like me with the melodies, I want you to remember the melody. You know what I mean? Lost myself but got away. That's all I got so far, but yeah, I think it's probably just me. Yeah, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably just the abuse on your voice. Too. I think so. But you like you fucking better. The lyrics are. What? The lyrics are. Yeah, but well, you should. Be. I got strangers that turned into family. I got family that turned into strangers. Yeah. Oof. I'm with it. I'm with it. So right now we're calling the Ciroc Boys. Oh, Ciroc. Ciroc Boys. Wow. So did you hear what the you heard the Tony Soprano one I did, right? Call it. Call it like Ciroc Dreams. But I need to talk that boss talk. I gotta feel like a boss, and right now I, I sound like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Nah, but you're not wrong. You do, you do. But I mean, having six, at least six skeletons in two days is not. It's not detrimental. Like it's not. 
You know what I mean? So. We're good. We still got like three full, mo three no four full, full more days. <laughs> four full more <laughs> days of recording. I still do say. Like something along that lines. Got to be a little bit more simplistic like that. feel like the music you're making as well is like different from back at home too? Yeah, I think I did. Well, one, I'm in a different place in my life, I think, and than I was before. I am in my, I am in my soft girl era. Yes, I am. Well I am. So a lot of, I feel like a lot of what I'm doing in terms of making music is stemming from that. And I feel like it's easier for me to draw from that energy mm -hmm. than it has been in the past. I think also I just have more of a passion for it because I've, I'm around people who also are passionate about it. And for a long time, my kind of was just like, I don't want to do this. Like, I don't need to be doing you the music like thing. Yeah, I'm stepping way out of my comfort zone in ways that I wasn't. I, if you had asked me, like, maybe like, what are we, 2022? If you had asked me like four years ago if I would have ever been in a space where I was gonna be writing music and singing it and doing all this stuff, I would have laughed in your fucking face. Because I just was like, I'm not fucking doing that. Like, that's not happening. That you love me on a Sunday. Early shift, you was mad, now you wanna call it quits Two weeks notice, no outfit, no one notice But you know we see it now, I want you, but you don't believe it I know that Friday's for the fellas, Saturdays are for the girls But a lazy Sunday guarantee the change of world I promise now, if you leave here with me I love you baby, seven days of the week, can't you see? I love for you, it's real That's good, that's good, that's good Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Saying, do that. Why don't we throw your voice like after I do the first two lines, then you throw in the second? It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yay! Okay, okay, okay. So I got love for you. It's real. Scared to tell you how I feel. Baby, don't you make me regret this. You be my seven day checklist. Get my phone up on Monday. Ooh, Ooh wait, but what if you just bounced in and we just all Oh, what if you just went back and forth on the hook? Yeah, what that's mean? what I'm saying. Like duet on the hook. Yes. Bro, like I said, hit my phone up on a Monday. Boom, was a little nervous by Tuesday. So then I said that next part. Yeah, next and part. then I so would you be. Say, hit my phone up on a Monday. Monday. Up, was a little nervous by was Tuesday. Was a little nervous by Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Um, up a little late on Wednesday. And into Thursday to Friday and Saturday. Told me that you love me on a Sunday. And we could just do the told me that you love me on a Sunday together. Two weeks notice, new outfit no one noticed. But you know we see it and I want you though you don't believe it. Know that Friday's for the fellas, Saturday's are for the girls. But a lazy Sunday guarantee to change the world. And I promise if you get out of here with me, I love you, baby, seven days out of the whole week. I got a love for you, it's real. I'm scared to tell you how I feel. Baby, don't you make me regret this. You be my seven day checklist. Hit my phone up on a Monday. I was a little nervous by Tuesday. Up a little late on Wednesday Into Thursday and Friday and Saturday You told me that you love me on a Sunday We fucking making a track like it's the 80s except there's no cocaine, that's all I'm saying I don't mess with the booger sugar, but I'm lit <laughs> I'm just saying We might mess around and tie the now one day Someday, but for now it's a fun day Ride around 
getting lost. Tony Danza, you talking to the boss? That's it. That's the one. Oh, that's the one. We done did it. That's what it is. We make the song. We do five. We do five. We song. Bring in gang, okay? Jersey. My voice, I, that shit, that shit got me hot. Yes, I don't even know where, sir. Oh my god. This, this, is, this, is, this is like, Nar Dog the is back. That's the title of the beat. Nar Dog never left. Nar Dog is back. And guess what? He ain't never left, so I don't know why he called it that. That's wow. crazy, but it's fine. You know the vibe. <laughs> you know the vibe. <laughs> Wait, what is it? It's a uh, Funk Flex, and he's just like, I want you to go to the nearest convenience store and stick your hand in the register and take the money. This is all ours. Do you know what you said? Run it. Hey, what's the next wow. beat? Wow. Next beat is due back. Finna go eat some tacos. Are the tacos done? That was dope as shit. We just did a whole song on that. Oh my god, look at all the snow. Yeah, there's a lot of snow. Right? So. Now, what are you doing, big dog? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, yo, who's gonna put that bitch down, bro? We know what you're doing, bro. Who's what? Put that bitch down, bro. <laughs> Say you'll take out the trash when we get home. What are you talking Say about? it! <laughs> <laughs> My shoulder almost just popped out again. Damn. I had to dip. Damn, okay. it really came down. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, it's really fucking snowing out here, man. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we're gonna play oh, dude, we got to film down there. Yo, what you going to hot tub? Holy. You know I don't fuck with snow. Oh my god. Damn it. Oh. It looks dope though. Go look at the fire. If you can walk outside for a second, look at the fire. Chestnuts roasting oh, on an open fire. Oh, it's pulled. Yeah, fuck. It's god problem. damn it. Yeah. Yeah. What you drinking? <laughs> White Claw. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm dreaming of a white. Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. We could film the Sunday video down there. We could do like a we could have like a house like a house version of the video. Yeah. If Matt mixes something, we could do it tonight. What I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, taking every part of the beat that I did when I together um, just kind of put, bringing all the volumes in one by one and I'm using as you can see here on the computer here on the screen there's this like meter going on right it's like you can kind of see it moving a bit so the goal is to make it so that all the parts of the beat don't exceed the zero here where the red comes in so that's kind of what I'm doing right now I'm kind of just gauging those um, meters to make sure that I don't go past that. If I go past that, then that means I'm not leaving enough what we would call headroom in the audio world. Is The reason why you want headroom is because what I'm going to end up doing is, is I'm going to take the song as it is out of my recording software and I'm going to put it through a mastering software that's um, a subscription based application called Lander. So do all that once that's done i'll be able to export the final version of the song and then see what happens from there it might end up seeing light on spotify not sure so now i'm doing the mastering part where um it's basically like makes it louder so that it matches with commercial mixes that you hear like you know everyday artists commercial artists <laughs> So, kind of just keep it consistent. Um, it sounds pretty close. Like the the goal is too is to try to make it so that the mix that I do in preparation for the master is so that the um, when you match the volumes, they're as close as identical sounding as possible. So that's always good. But when it comes to mastering, there's always some certain things about the track that ends up getting affected like sometimes there's extra compression put on which kind of adds like a a lot of almost like a lot of like twanginess in a sense but like more so like consistent loudness is the best way i can put it um but it's good for putting it out on all 
regulars, audio software, and all the streaming services like you know your Apple Music, your Spotify. And the thing of it is, is you know back in the day there used to be this whole thing with loudness wars where like. You wanted to have your track be as loud as possible, but nowadays with the streaming services, they regulate how loud a certain song is based on their particular settings. Apple Music is going to sound different than Spotify, and it's not as crazy different as people might think. The average listener is not going to notice, but people like us, like audio engineers and producers, we're all going to be like, yeah, we could definitely tell the difference, but we'll make our version be as loud as possible and we'll just let the streaming services make it quieter if needed basically so that's pretty much it um but yeah so i mean i can kind of pre view the whole thing like being before i mastered it and after i mastered it but so that's like the final mastered version it's pretty good you know Trumpet is such a t- good touch. You know, that, uh, that trumpet is such a good touch. I'm glad I did that. I got love for you, it's real. And we got Stacy on it. We also got a back on this track. Baby, don't make me regret this. You've been I'm a producer, pretty much. I guess my main role for this whole thing would pretty much just be a producer. I mean, I'm also an artist too, but my main lane or role is pretty much just to produce music for Vin. Yeah, you do actually have a feature though. When I know, sense. which is really weird. That kind of came about rather spontaneously because like we were kind of pretty much just hanging out, chilling. And then honestly, I wasn't even trying to be on the record. I was literally just trying to show Stacy how to do like a hook or how to sing out like some this melody I wanted put on the track. And people liked it, so they were just like, yo, why don't you just sing on the track? So I was like, okay. So that's how I got the feature. Singing's weird for me because, um, I don't know, when it comes to singing, I kind of judge myself on a different standard or a different pedestal. You know, beats, I could crank out like that. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, obviously, like I could make a whole album, no problem, you know what I mean, in terms of like making beats. But when it comes to singing, and writing, that's where things get more difficult for me because I'm extra hard on myself, I guess. No, I'm never home. I'm stuck up on the road, on the mountain in the snow, but I can't let you go. Lala, Lala. La 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 There it is. That was it. I knew we were gonna fucking get it. Maybe I needed the fucking camera in front of me. Hmm? You and I be forever by my side. It's forever you and I. It's forever you and I. It's forever you and I. Always be by my side. Does that sound good? Oh. Sure! Yeah. Sure! Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am cooking breakfast today. I am cooking in my arsenal of the only thing I know how to cook. Is yes. pork roll sandwich. <laughs> I don't offer a lot. I offer good credit, great listening skills, and pork roll sandwich. <laughs> and that was three things that I said too. <laughs> Busy day. We got recording. Maybe Gene's photo shoots today, tomorrow. I don't know. Everyone keeps telling me something different. And then we are going out to dinner tonight because we got people coming so we're enjoying the last night of just the original crew and yeah 
It's going to be lit. I'm excited. You can actually do it while he's drunk, so I think right now. I can do this when I'm super hammered. The hockey play. The crescent play. Then you put the seasoning on the pork roll. The ca everyone on the camera is going to be so shocked. You're like, wow, Vinny actually really does cook. The most basic thing a Jersey guy can cook. But, translation, you don't want to eat it, don't eat it. I'm at the Gotham night. Got these bitches by my side all damn night. And these fuckers want to chime me, I can't lie. So I put them through the sheets, I'm so sly. I'm a bottle, <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I got soprano. Yeah. I mean, we got today now. Today's my second real full day here. So I was actually able to get in the studio a little bit. We got one, two. I'm looking because of the board over there. Two songs done. Vinny got the work done. I'm seeing 10 on the board. Sheesh. Oh, that's crazy. Sheesh. But the difference vibe-wise is just, I think it's really just that, though. It's winter versus summer. It's a completely different style of vibe. It's a different time of year. Everyone has different emotions overall. So. That affects the music at all? Yeah, 100%. What do you, um, you've listened to everything that we've done so far. Mm -hmm. What do you think's the different vibe between, like, between the summer album that we did and, like, doing this winter getaway? Um, a little bit more melody. I'm loving the, you don't want to I don't want to say darker because I think the, it's, like, the type of music that we made last year was more the summer vibes where it's just more happy, you feel like you're near water, you feel like you're just, go this one is more, it's cold. It's not dark, but it's more love songs, more melodic tracks. You know, some of them are happy, but they're a little bit softer. The vibe is there. It's, it's what we're on because we're in the mountain area. So this is a, a much more relaxed feeling vacation. We're not going out as much either. So Vinny's everyone's biggest supporter. That's what he is, though. That's, that's why I'll give you your flowers too, Vinny, for one second. You're everyone's biggest supporter. Thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have some people even making music, so. He's, he's going to see this and be like, this is all. Awesome. <laughs> he's going to sweat from his eyes. <laughs> I'm a soprano, but I'm a vet. If you want to try and compete against me, place your bets. You feel me? If they try to compete against me, go ahead and place your bets. I'm a soprano, but I'm a vet. If you want to compete against me, homie, place your bet. Get the penmanship, they left me with no options. So I had to get it back, get it poppin'. Oh, oh, oh. Ownership is what I'm looking for. With the gang, get pursuit of more. Happiness, it's immaculate. Got a couple of me, need four more. Need four more, love tire while gaining riches. Soprano kid gifted, can't quit, we get lifted. Ha! Right. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I like that. Woo! 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 Put it in the. Oh, my boy. It's like, this is like an early, like, mid-afternoon type of song. Today I slept in, woke up with some messages. And my mom was even checking in Had too much to drink, what happens when I overthink? It's whatever, cause next week we gonna do the same thing In the same town, at the same bar Letting empty bottles when we see who we really are We might fall asleep, looking at the stars And it's crazy, but a Sunday breakfast really where we really start It's like some kind of like melody with syllables Like, like, like stabbing syllables? Yeah A reference for me? Yeah, okay. You're on the hook. I'm not on the hook. It's not reference. I'm on the track. Hi, bro. So, yeah, I'm finally happy that He's I finally made it to the league. He's on the hook. Okay, she quit. Busy Sunday with you in my bed. Lazy Sunday 
with you in my bed. What I do for another lazy Sunday with you, with you, with you, with you, with you. What I do for another lazy Sunday with you, with you, with you, with you, with you. This weekend, no, we gonna break. Well, I have to. You have to do it three times. What I do for another lazy Sunday with you. All right, run it back, Matt. Run it back, Matt. The first hook needs just the solo vocal, but the second hook needs like the needs like a like a like a, like a group vocal. Keyboard, because then I can play out the sounds or whatever the harmony would sound like. I can do that. I can't play play. Really. I can play. Lay down the first half of the hook. And then I'll try it. I don't know how my voice is going to sound. And then you can write, and then you can write the second half. Thank you, my hero. We're writing the second half. We're doing this together, buddy. It's like majority You're of the last one. I just do this thing like that. I don't have um, a. <laughs> <Never. laughs> what I do for it. <clears throat> what I do for a Klondike bar. <laughs> <laughs> What I do for another lazy Sunday with you, with you, with you, with you, with lazy Sunday with you in my bed. What I do for another lazy Sunday with you, with you, with you, with you. What I do for another lazy Sunday with you, with you, with you, with you. Get your merch, get your merch. Crazy boy, crazy boy. Had to get changed because apparently the photo shoot is today. It's shoot day, let's go, motherfucker. So, we're doing a photo shoot right now for, uh, yeah, for the real. winner collection of the Crescent Boys merch. Okay. And we're doing the photo shoot right. for the bus. Probably five for the OG that pulled up to the house. We're going to the, uh, we just did the photo shoot at the house. We're going to the photo shoot now at the lake. Shout out to Gene for getting everything done with his fantastic photography skills. You probably saw the behind the scenes clips already. Shout out to Burns. What's up, Dan? How you feeling? Dan woke up at 2 p.m. today. Really got a productive day. All that stuff is about production two seconds ago. Wow. Wow, uh, that is just like. Does not, I'm always the last one to go to sleep. It doesn't you know? matter like, when it comes to him. Everything I'm I said glad, about getting it done. I'm glad you guys feel safe at night knowing I'm always up. Why are you always up? It's just a it's hard life for reasons. me. It's a hard life to be Dan. Multiple reasons. It's a really hard life to be Dan. Don't worry, I'm going to wake all you up tomorrow. Wake me up. I'll be up. I, I'm at the meeting every morning before <laughs> everybody's even at the meeting. <laughs> the meeting's going to be really early tomorrow. <laughs> I, I <laughs> promise you it won't be earlier than when they get up. Uh, 4 a.m. We'll see. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna go to sleep. You think I'm fucking around? You're not gonna go to sleep. <laughs> We're about to be super productive. What's tomorrow, Friday? <laughs> Don't fuck up my sleep. I gotta yeah. get up early for Saturday. We are going to some lake. I'm assuming the main lake, Lake Harmony, and uh, we're doing Gene's photo shoot right now. Um, and Gene wanted to take some pictures, so we got a bunch of the guys to come. A lot of people don't like the cold. It's gonna be a little bit chillier, a little bit more colder down there, but. It's okay because we brought Dan with us. It's going to be hilarious content watching him complain. I only complain when the sun's out. We came to the lake. It's about negative 28 degrees, but it's worth it. Burns look like he actually has burns on his face. He's really red. I'm probably really red. We're doing a photo shoot. You can't beat these views. Just take a look. This view is beautiful, man. I can do it this time. Anyone that watches this, thank you. Thank you to everyone that's here. It's just a blessing and I'm grateful. <laughs> lay down another verse for another song so we have like skeletons and ideas of things and then tonight when everybody else comes we could go through them and see if they're worth finishing and maybe 
collabing on. So collab, Mr. Season, Mr. Gary. Collab. Let's see what I got. Can I get the key real quick? Pull up at the mood's right Really tell me now, tell me what's the mood like I just look a shy, so I'm feeling good, right? Yeah, you know I'm there when I'm saying everything twice Baby, baby, know that I'm so wavy Got me out here dirty dancing and they call me Patrick Swayze Know my ex, yeah, she hates me and it really doesn't face me Why does every girl I love really gotta drive me crazy? I'm just living like you can't stand me What you gonna do when I make it? I'm just doing me and you can't blame me Never understand me, don't got a plan B Yeah, yeah, life got crazy Yeah, yeah, never gonna play me Yeah, yeah, life got crazy Yeah, yeah, never gonna play me I've been on a road I'm blessed and I get to be a part of this experience I'm beyond blessed to be a part of every single one of y'all's lives And, uh, you know, this one is for Vinny You know, it's his birthday week but you know, we all celebrating it together, we all having a good time, and this is for everybody. Let's go! Let's go! No, we here and just met. I had work, I overslept. I know that we both a mess. Your friends now give it a rest. Working on me, working on myself. Building you up, I don't need help. You say things I won't tell. You think you know me so well. I'm so I'm glad this guy's love. here, bro. This guy got super drunk at my birthday party last week. He said a lot of really nice things, man. I didn't get a chance to tell you because I didn't have my phone for the last week, but I appreciate you, bro. No problem, bro. I'm not just saying that for the camera. I missed this. This is the one I want to work on. I have a poem that I'm I'm working based off of. It's about it's like a explain it to the camera. Alright, so <laughs> I'll explain it to both of y'all, but just All right. I'm working off a poem and it's basically like the muse for the, the song. Okay. Um the poem is just a moment. Okay. Uh which is the moment alone that I'm talking about in here. So you can read the poem and that'll get you like a kind of vibe of what I'm thinking of the person. And then you could literally, honestly, it's kind of, I left the lyrics vague on the song, vague enough for you to write either a toxic story or a very healthy one. So pick one. Like pick whatever I you want. I kind of wrote toxic. Yeah, like pick okay. whatever you want to Let's see, like, I'm in love, so, like, I'm all about being in love. I'm all about being in love. But the cool part about love is just, it's got both parts. It's right. Now. Like, there's still some toxicities in it still. Yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Write about, write about something. Oh, okay. Lovey, lovey, but like also not too lovey, lovey. Have fun. All right, my verse is done. I know we here and just met. I have work, I overslept. I know that we both a mess. Your friends now give it a rest. Working on us, working on myself. Building you up, now you don't need help. You say that things I won't ever work. I'm ready to record that yeah. shit. I'll get the flow down when I'm up there. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look, and we about to get Duvac to sing. And we getting Duvac to sing on the bridge, too. Look at this. Duvac, stop me. Look at this. Look at all this. Ah, uh, my name's Duvac. I just recently grew a beard. Now I think I can intimidate people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feed Duvac after midnight. <laughs> um, so we here and just met. I had work, I overslept. I know that we both a mess. Your friends now give it a rest. Working on me, working on myself. Building you up, I don't need help. You 
say things that I won't tell you think you know me so well. That was way better. Yeah, 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 you know if you only knew I could risk it all for a moment A moment alone with you But I would be foolish to wish for forever for you, Michael. I thought you were cheering the camera. Oh, I'm cheering the camera too. But I don't want to break the lens. Cheers. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> we don't need that problem. You drink, I drink, you drink, I think. You independent, no, I like it how you do your thing. Yeah, I like it like that. Just chill, kick back right now with the kickback. Don't move fast, don't just ask. We here, we gon' make this last. Oh! I'm on the fucking, about to put my vocals on this shit. What the fucking shit? This is crazy. Oh my god. Okay. So wrap your hands around my waist. Tell me we'll go at your pace. We'll wash our worries away. You'll be my baby forever. Yo, Gene is now featured on a song. We got Gene, Gene on, on the track. track. With no we got Gene, Gene on the track. No Gene's on the track. No Gene's on the track. No Gene's on the track. Okay. No, no Gene's on, no Gene's but Gene's on the track. I'm Derek. Uh, I came down to make to hang out, watch people make music, like and make music this weekend. It's pretty dope. I'm Aziz. Uh, I go by Soul Food. <laughs> and yeah, now nah, I pulled up to make music and be a part of the community we got going on here. It's just dope. Uh, we had pretty much just got here at that point. <laughs> yeah, They were showing us the songs that they did. And then they were showing us, um, like Vinny was showing us the stuff he wanted to do. And the one beat that Matt had made, I just like had a melody for it in my head and was like, yeah, no, nah, we can get to this one right now. And so we did, and I had a couple words that I was thinking about, and it just flowed. Like, everything just flows so naturally. That shit felt cool. I think it was The Sopranos and uh, Lazy Sunday that I said something like, I was like, dude, it's crazy, because like, you made, you went from like, two different sides of, like, the, of the spectrum on the vibe. Like, you know, on Sopranos, he was going hard as fuck, and then like, Lazy Sunday was like, it was cool, it was chill, like. I see, um, as far as production goes, I noticed that, um, Matt has rock influences but makes R&B, whereas Duvac has uh, more hip hop and R&B influences and makes the like rap R&B beats. So like those kind of will point you in different directions. And then as the features go, like me and Stacy come from R&B backgrounds, it seems, right? Yeah. And like if he's not coming from an R&B background, it'll soften him up a little bit. To whereas songs like Soprano, like that shit was just hard. It was just straight hard. But like the one that we worked on moments, it like that's it was a softer side. It was more of a like a like walls down, like this is what I'm got what I got going on right now. You know? Yes. Yeah. What about who do you guys think you bonded with that you weren't expecting to bond with on your like night up here? Um probably like probably Matt. Like I mean we talked a little bit last night, but then like we I didn't think that like, you know, we we're gonna be sitting in that room over there like cranking on like on um on a track for a couple hours. I was like Okay, like that was cool, like you know, because I said to him like before we left for the weekend, I was like, I was like, I have no clue what's gonna happen up there. Like I have no idea how to have like any kind of expectation. So like that happened, I was like, all right, cool. This was a like that was a dope time. Like I had a lot of fun with that. I would say the same. Uh, Matt like was quiet, and then I didn't meet him before yesterday, so he was super quiet. And then when we woke up, he was just all chilling in the room, and it was like, oh, all right, like you talk. <laughs> yeah, we spent like an hour, I think, like just talking about like guitar stuff and like the like the recording rigs and stuff. Like you hit Matt with one of those topics that he's into, and, and he goes. goes. <laughs> he was pumped. Is there anything that you want to say to Serene? Fuck Ace? yes. Go ahead. Um, if you're watching this, it's because this is the future you. Uh, right. Stay passionate. Uh, stay you. 
and keep believing in this shit. Cause like there's days where we don't believe in this shit. Like there's days where, and there's day like right now we're in this moment, right? We love this shit. But there's a there's gonna come a day where we're like, what the fuck am I doing? Right? And we're not gonna remember how good it feels to be in a moment like this. But like, remember this shit. You know what I'm saying? Remember that this these moments, this week, like this is why you do it. And like the, you don't need anything else. There's nothing else that you need. You could have it all just by loving these moments. Well, well we're photography. I'm a recording artist now. Look at that. How, yeah. So what was it like? Yeah, no, it was a really cool experience. Though. It's something I want to try. It's definitely not my thing that I want to make or turn into a career or a hobby, but it's just the one thing you want to try, you know? And it definitely was different. I put on the headphones. And I did not know that it would feel like that or how it would sound and stuff like that. So it was definitely a different experience as far as that goes. And also Stacy did help me coach a lot as far as my vocals and those four words, it's a lot of meaning into it. So I, she helped me make sure that it was all come out correctly. So. so last night, it was something very different to me to be honest because I was able to see the process from beginning to end and it's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of dedication. You have, must have good talent for it because it's not for everyone. I have to just keep it a buck on that. And on top of that, I feel like you have to be in a certain mood and vibe to make art like that. You can't just wake up and say, I'm ready. You know what I mean? So definitely it's a process. So what was it like? So you went on the last trip also. So what yeah. was the vibes between this trip versus the last trip involving the album? I have to be completely honest. I feel like since we were more closed in, I guess, because of the weather and stuff like that, this was more of a family vibe, if you can ask me. Um, it was more of a family vibe. There was more, hmm, there was way more connectivity going on as far as music goes, collaborations, and everyone participating as a group. So I can definitely see that for sure. You want to go home, but at the same time, it's like the day comes. And yeah, you leave. like, like I, I kinda don't want to leave. Like I want to go home, but at but the same I time, like tonight, leave. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be like. Right I know it's really going home. It's like. It's bittersweet, I guess you could call it. Yeah. I want to go, but I want to stay. Proud of you this week, man. You killed it. Really proud of you. You worked the hardest out of everybody this week, man. Don't and you. Me, man. And you. Love you, bro. you, you big potato, you. Enjoy proud the of you this week. Enjoy the rest right. of the The camp. fact that this trip, yeah, no, there's worry, so no. many creative people, more than just me sitting at that desk by myself, makes this trip 10 times better. And that's no shot at anyone that's on this trip that doesn't make music. But being around other artists, just for some odd reason, it was it's making this flow so much better. You know what I mean? Oh, there are the artists, yeah. Uh, the artists are honestly we're working with more artists. That's the that's the biggest thing. Um, Duvax getting out of his shell to you know help write to this week was dope. Um, Stacy obviously did a big job with that. Uh, Stacy being here too, um, just been great. Again, you know, like I said in her interview, the different styles of writing between her and Johnny, who are two now main people I work with, it's just it's just night and day of difference. Not in a bad or good. Not each are both great ways, and I hope people understand that like, when they hear that. Like it's not like one or the other. It's just with Stacy, it's just more of a conversation of like. Okay, why are we feeling this way towards this beat? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? With Johnny, it's in the moment, which is just as beautiful because sometimes the best music is in the moment. You know what I mean? So it, the, the difference is like, I think just having more, just having more people, you know what I mean? More people here, more cooks in the kitchen, no pun intended as everyone's in the kitchen, but um, just as, for once is actually, they say that's a bad thing, but I think in this situation, it's a good thing. Cause it's just making the product even better. I feel like it's weird because me, I feel like I'm never really doing anything and then I do so much without even realizing it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of weird. And I feel like me, you and Matt are kind of like the same way. Like we're just sitting there like, oh, we're not really doing anything. But once you take like three steps back, we kind of honestly bought a house, literally put together a whole clothing line business. You have your albums coming out. Like, literally learned how to build computers, like, what, the, this life's crazy. If you told us, if you literally, if we looked at versions of ourselves back in high school compared to where we are today, we wouldn't believe it's us. 
And that's in a good thing too. Cause like we picked up so many new skills, so many new friends, man. It's crazy to see the journey. And honestly, it's really just getting started. Like I really see us doing this for years. I saw the documentary from last year's trip and seeing that whole process like up close was like really cool. Like I watched everyone make Sunday in person. And then when Johnny showed up, I watched him do his thing yesterday. So just actually seeing that process in real time was just like really amazing. Honestly, I definitely see it growing, especially with Vinny talking about every trip being better than the last, and especially if new people keep joining it. I mean, the merch has been on fire. I don't know if you can see, I got the sweats and the hat on. So just that part growing as we progress, since the collective keeps getting bigger and it seems like Vinny and everyone is really trying to find everyone, something that they can contribute if they want to, if they want to show up and at least like help with the vibes and just be part of the family. I think that's also big. But as far as building the brand name, music, merch, have ideas for more merch so that I can grow both for winter and like warmer weather stuff. I think it's just the only room we have really is to go up because you really gotta stay hungry for that dream and keep pushing that. And you surround yourself with the same energy. Your first ex expectation, what you expect? Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I had a baseline of, you know, it was gonna be cold, like gear up and we're gonna have like, you know, a couple drinks. I'm gonna watch you guys make some music. But if, if I had to look back knowing what I know now, this was 10 times yeah. and 10 times better than I thought it was going to be. What was, um, what was uh, your favorite thing about the trip? Uh, probably working with Matt. I wish I worked with Matt a lot more, just like seeing how he made the process and everything. What, what the detail, what did you, what did Matt show you? <sighs> just the baselines of like, you know, creating music, creating the beats really. Just, um, how he does the process, whether it be, you know, gra grabbing beats from, um, forgot the application, but grabbing beats from Splice, Splice or uh, just creating like his own sound with his guitar and just like going through the process, you know, <laughs> beating on the table, just yeah, yeah. just trying to figure out the tempo and stuff like that. It was a really fun experience. The sky's the limit. <laughs> and I feel like I'm, I'm definitely gonna be here for the next trip. Definitely wanna experience this again. We'll get a little more technical, see, see, um, I love seeing the process, so I'm definitely gonna spend more time, probably not intoxicated and actually like yeah, working on stuff. <laughs> no, I don't believe that either. I just <laughs> wanna say it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of hard to like think of what I wanted to do up here because I knew I was only gonna be up here one day. But as soon as I got here, the vibes were already good for me. Everybody was taking shots. We had a lit ass time, so that's all I really needed. And then if I was able to come up here earlier this week, I probably would have been able to help more with the album, but overall, I think I did a I did a good part. I feel like me listening was good enough. Why do you like help support Vinny and like everything? Like why why do you stay? Cause you and oh no. Yeah, he hit me with some shit like this. No thing. shit, you're gonna make me cry. Shit. Love you. Fuck. Oh <laughs> shit. That's okay. Um, why do I stick around? Because you and Vinny are the most genuine friends I've ever had in my life. Oh. You know? Um, so every, every, you know, like, that's why I said what I said on that voice memo. You know, it's just like, I, I've learned so much from you guys and like, you know, the friend, it's not that I didn't have good friends in the past. They just didn't have the capability to teach me the things that you guys have, you know, and I couldn't ask for better friends. And I love you guys. I don't, you know, I don't ever see us ever drifting apart. No, you know, honestly. Shit, yeah. Pressing sure. boys after all, it's on our shirts, on our, you know, right? It's on our backs now, so. Um, look. <laughs> I just want to say uh, I appreciate everyone that's here. We're on the last, you know, last leg of the trip. Thank um, God. The album. Thank God you're leaving tomorrow. Hey, man. Yikes. <laughs> you sound like a hater. You. <laughs> you sound like a hater. What you Do I sound like a hater? Yeah, you um, but no, seriously, though, I'm just joking. But, um, <laughs> damn. What was that? There's a lot of tension. It is. Uh, but no, seriously, though, uh, I want to thank everyone for everything that they helped out this week. 
whether it was cooking, just being around, helping with the album, coming to visit. Um, I appreciate everything, you know. It wasn't just, a, you know, I know we came up here for my birthday, too. Everything you guys did, I really appreciate it. your birthday for the past. I can't wait for this week to be awesome. They can't wait until next week, like, all right, you're doing it. Yo, you turned 30 once, I can't wait. No, but for real. No, but for real, though. For real, though. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And, um... This is definitely something I think we're going to continue to do every year with oh, yeah. everyone that's here. <laughs> in the winter? <laughs> nah, 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 this is the last one we're doing. <laughs> the things I do for Vinny. Okay? Like, what did I, I didn't ask for this. You know why I'm out here? Because he made this fire for us. But it is I did play that shit pretty cool. But, like, I got my mittens, which is cool, but, like, I don't want anything. I want to go back inside. <laughs> I just want to say this is like the first time I've done anything like serious like this with a group of friends and I've never had such a fucking experience in my life like honestly this is like I've I've been going through a lot you know and like a lot of different changes in my like profession and stuff like that going back to school and stuff like that and this is like really took my mind off of the type shit like <laughs> if yeah <laughs> I'm glad to be here, honestly. And all my friends and shit, like all the people I've met, all the different, like, you know, mentors that I can potentially have and shit, like, I just, I can't thank you guys enough. Like, it's definitely been a pleasure. Thanks for the Vegas bomb. Oh, yeah. Looking back on this week, I can't help but feel blessed and just a lot of emotions, you know, thinking about all the great things that happened and. Sometimes I feel like we could fit a lifetime in one week. And I think that's something that we constantly do every time we do these trips. We party, <laughs> party a lot. We uh, make memories and the mission never changes. The mission's always music, the music first. The music is something that I think shines and showcases throughout the whole week because that's the foundation of what we are. Crescent Boy Entertainment is more than just f four idiots trying to figure out their own way. It's more than just us. It's everyone you've seen in this video. It's, it's everyone who's been a part of this from behind the scenes to everything. The Crescent Way is just to be yourself. And I hope these visuals that Mike put together, I hope that you can see that. I hope that you see the joy in making music a lot of times they make it seem like music and this industry and everything is is not supposed to be fun but making music's fun being with your friends is fun traveling and disconnecting from social anything social media wise and and just you a journal and making the best music the, the way you can express yourself the best way possible that's the foundation of what we are is being yourself and having fun and I hope you got to see that this week. I hope you get to see the moments that we made and the moments that we will continue to create together as one. Hot tub chilling on my days off. Been working too hard not to take off. Got a nice view, can't take calls. In the mountains, let's get lost. Let's go for a little walk. Let's have us a little talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save us these days off. Peaceful vacations, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been working a nine to five, feels like a nine to nine. Gotta get a clear mind, let's make some us time. I've been pulling it together on my days off. I've been trying to get better on my days off. Can't lose my grip, gotta stay strong. You don't want to see what's about to go down in the Crescent Boys game? <laughs> gang, 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 get your merch.